Among the biggest thorns in Vladimir Putin's side is the group Pussy Riot, which is relentless in calling out the Russian strongman's anti-democratic actions. We recently sat down with one of the group's founding members, Nadia Telekonikova. She is author of the book, Read and Riot, a Pussy Riot Guide to Activism. Nadia, thanks, thanks so much. Uh, it all started for you as far as activism goes. Uh, tell us about you getting arrested for performing a song in a church in 2012. Um, we, we weren't actually arrested when we were performing the song. It, uh, they decided it later because, you know, everything um, is being decided in um, really high up in the power because, you know, uh, our arrest was um, it, the result of decision of um, Kremlin as we believe, so after two weeks after the performance, we were arrested. And um, that's why we believe it's a political case. Because, you know, in, in the church, mm. we didn't disturb really nobody. They just told us, um, do you want to leave? Because we feel like your music is not really suitable for this place. And we said, yes, okay, well, we said everything we wanted to. We prayed to Virgin Mary, we asked her to get rid of Putin, and we were done. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your book. What are you uh, hoping that people will learn from your story and the message? Uh, we have to make large prison reform, not only in Russia, but in America and other countries too. Um, that's why I think this book can be useful for those people who care about prisoners' rights. Um, hopefully, this book can be useful for people who start thinking about uh, art activism. Because what's good about art activism, even when you have only three or five people in your team um, and you don't have millions around you, you still can make an impactful message because art is something that can move people's hearts. So you spent Absolutely. 18 months of your life in a Russian prison. So give me an average day. What, did, um, what, what happened to you? What did you do? What would you fill your days with? So in a penal colony, um, in a place where I have to work, like you have to work, it's not even a question. You have to work, and uh, all prisoners around me, they had to work from 12 to 16 hours a day. Um, you're waking up at 5.30 in the morning, then you run to, um, have to clean everything. And you, you know, like in an army, you probably saw all these musicals about like old time American army, but so it's like that right now in Russian and I believe American prison too. So you have to clean everything, though it's really clean already, but you just have to do it because you don't, you don't have an option to be on your own. You don't have an option to be in your own thoughts. You have to be useless piece of body, that's it, without any thoughts, without any criticism to what's happening. Then you have to sue, you have to produce police uniforms, 16 hours a day without day offs. What charges were you in prison for? What was the official charge? My charges were hooliganism with religious hatred, because we prayed in the church. Hooliganism? Yeah. Oh. So it was one of the most famous uh, democracy activists in Russia. I have heard sometimes from Russian activists that we make too much of Putin and describe him to be this all-powerful man, that, that it helps him at home. Mm -hmm. And so I wonder if you think in America that we are overstating uh, how powerful he is or if we are absolutely right um, and his power is to be feared in Russia. Um, do you mean you have to fear Putin or not? You no, definitely do, he... don't have to fear Putin because that's what he wants. That's why I don't mm -hmm. fear Putin. That's why like, all the activists in Russia, they don't hit, give him too much power. It all, like, that, that's, that's why I wrote and, you know, my fellow activists helped me wrote this book because we, we, that's our point. You give them power. If you mm -hmm. think that they do have power, they do have this power. If you think that they are ineffective, they're corrupted, then you know how to... No, then you know how to attack them. And uh, I think that's true for, for all of us, not just Russians, but Americans. And, you know. What is your hope for Russia after Vladimir Putin? Hmm. Uh, my hope is to build democratic socialism, because I, I think we do have really great traditions in Russia. We have uh, really great traditions that are coming from USSR of um, feminism and of socialism. And right now it looks really... Um, broken because of authoritarian system that Putin held onto, uh, but uh, I believe that Russia can be uh, a leader of the free world. <laughs> okay, the book is Read and Riot, a Pussy Riot Guide to Activism. Nadia Tolikonikova, thank you very much.
Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.